Dell. Amelia is at the CCL Fair booth with a look at the top five money makers. Hi, Amelia. Hi, Frank. I told you this crowd is very excited out here. You know, there are about 250 vendors who sell food here at the fair, and there is a massive waiting list of people who want to get in. So you can imagine there are some people who are dreaming of making big money during their 12 days here. So what are which state fair vendors are, make the most money? Well, that's a good question. Jason DeRussia put together the top food vendors based on total revenue before expenses. Every year you ask and every year we answer. These are the Fair Food Five, the top five money makers at the state fair. That's great. Thank you. Let's start at the bottom of the top list. At number five is Giggles Campfire Grill, and they shot onto this list in 2011, up 26 percent. They grossed $675,000 last year. We actually last year came out with a salad on a stick. That really brought our numbers up a lot. It was uh, it was huge. Here at the Corn Roast, they go through nearly 200,000 ears of corn a year. That adds up to a lot of money, and it's good enough for fourth place on our list. Last year, they grossed $675,000. That's good stuff. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Midwest Dairy Association is in third place. They've got the Dairy Goodness Bar inside the dairy building and the All You Can Drink Milk Bar. Last year, they managed to milk $843,000 out of fairgoers. We serve well over 9,000 malts a day on average. The mix we use for ice cream and malt, that would employ 15 cows full time for a year. Number two on the list, it is the cheese curds, the mouth trap inside the food building. Dave Cavallero has about 100 employees, goes through 4,000 pounds of Ellsworth cheese curds every day, and last year he grossed $862,000. When sweet Martha Rossini Olson started baking cookies here at the State Fair in 1979, she had no idea what her little stand would become. Once again, sweet Martha's cookies is on top of our list of State Fair food money makers. This location alone made nearly a million dollars last year. The one by the grandstand made 1.5 million. The total sweet Martha's take, 2.5 million dollars in 2011. Now that is sweet. Oh, yeah. Now, Jason tells us that as much as we love our food, Minnesotans love their beer, too. Cafe Carib, which is the beer garden next to the DNR building, they made more than the corn guy. They made nearly $780,000, and so did Shanghai Henry's. That's the beer vendor at International Bazaar. 716000 That, of course, are before expenses. Those numbers are before expenses. And the fair does tell us, though, that the food vendors usually profit about 25% of that total number. So there you go, Frank. A lot going on here. A lot of money being made here at the fair. There you go. No kidding. Yeah, boy, those are big numbers. Amelia, very interesting as always. Thanks to you and your uh, big, excited crowd out there. Very excited crowd out here. I think they're uh, they're happy. They were asking for you, though. I think they might be a little disappointed that you're not out here standing I'm, in your I'm shorts. I'm disappointed I'm wearing a suit. Believe me. <laughs> All okay. right. Thank you. Well,